I'm at DTS and DTS announced a few weeks ago DTSX and obviously that's an immersive audio standard or an object based standard and that's pretty much a big thing with cinema uh, and it's very exciting. Cinema needs to get that standard going and start making the content but DTS is actually doing the other side of the story. They're helping with their, they're, they're doing a lot of input into the standard. But you know they've got other things and leveraging it in other markets too. And I was very impressed. We went and saw in, into a small auditorium there, and it sounded very good. So, um, Kevin, can you tell us like what what's happening with DTSX uh, in the rest of the world, and, and what, what's what's what are you bringing to the market? Sure. Last week we announced our uh, overall ecosystem for immersive sound. So we announced a return to the theater with DTSX. Uh, the foundation of that is MDA, as we discussed that format uh, MDA is a royalty-free license for creators. And so uh, creators around across the country and around the world are working with MDA uh, right now. The feedback that we've gotten is, is great. And so uh, movies created in MDA can play back through any speaker configuration. What we're calling that is DTSX professional in the cinema. Um, but the flexibility that we're bringing to the cinema is, is really unprecedented. So we can go from efficient to extravagant. You That's wanna right. have 100 speakers in the room? We can do it, the biggest room you have. Uh, you want to wire up a smaller room, DTSX also will accommodate that room. And I think some of those rooms are rooms where maybe we didn't think with the existing solutions that immersive audio would be an option. We want to bring immersive audio to as many people as possible. And one of the reasons why we believe DTSX will be the solution to do that is the flexibility, uh, in addition to the immersiveness with height, but height can be accommodated in a variety of ways right, in all yeah. kinds of configurations. And so height is kind of table stakes, right? We, we want to take it a step beyond and say, this is the most flexible solution ever. And that goes all the way from the cinema, even into the home as well. Really any type of setup that you want to do uh, within your house in terms of speaker placement, um, DTSX can accommodate it because MDA tells uh, uh, MDA tells the system basically where to, where to move the sounds. That's right. And Regardless so, of where your speakers are, just let us know where they are, and we'll portray it as well as. It and, can and this is an important aspect, especially because I usually cover exhibition. Um, we we have MDA, uh, the studio, the simply the body will is taking on MDA, and they'll use portions or whatever. But we'll come up based on your contribution with an audio standard for cinema. And the interesting aspect of it is that you are absolutely correct. Like putting in these really fancy multi-channel um, systems usually means to do it properly you have to redesign the auditorium from scratch and you know there's a hundred there over a hundred thousand theaters already out there yeah. that's not going to happen so yeah. if we want to move these um, cinemas into into object-based audio we need more flexibility than what is currently being put forward to a degree and, and th this is where you know, your push into, into the market in this way is of great interest to our industry. I'm thrilled. I've been in a theater that we have set up with all gear that supports DTSX, and we can take it down to 5.1 and then bring it up to, the, I think there are 150 speakers in this theater. So any configuration that you can think of, we can play these MDA files or DTSX professional files um, through. So that is going to bring maximum flexibility and implementation. It's going to bring it to the most people possible. You know, when I heard immersive audio for the first time, to me, it was like the difference between, I don't know, HD and 4K. Like real 4K TV uh, with legit 4K content, you don't want to go back to HD, right? Or even SD to HD. Immersive is the same way. We have to get more people exposed to this because you just can't go to standard surround once you've heard the difference that height makes, especially with the ambient sounds. Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks, Kevin. I really appreciate your input and, and DTS's input into the advancement of cinema in general. And um, that's James Gardner with Kevin from DTS at NAB 2015. Bye for now.